Once you finish your ribbing, I think they call for six rows of a rib stitch. You're chaining two. Each for the double or the twisted double crochet or the double wrap around crochet. Um, this first row they have you doing the back loop only of this. You always start with one double crochet and you end with one double crochet. So you've got your chain two, your double crochet, you're skipping a stitch, the next stitch you're going to double crochet, you are going to yarn over, you are wrapping around that double crochet and you're double crocheting again. So here's your original double crochet, here's your wrap around. You're skipping, yarn over, you're going to double crochet in the next one. Yarn over, wrap around, double crochet, skipping, Back loop on this one, double crochet, wrap it around, skip, double crochet, wrap around. This one, double crochet, row done. Chain two, turn it around. Now, continuing up for however many rows you want, as far as the width of the shawl, double crochet both stitches. first chain. Skipping this one, double crochet the next one, yarn over, needle or hook around, double crochet, done. Skip, double crochet, Yarn over, wrap around, double crochet. I'm hoping that this is actually in the camera where you can see it. Skipping, double crochet, yarn over, wrap around. Skip, yarn over, last stitch in the row, double crochet, chain two. You'll notice that it takes and it offsets each one of these from the one below it. So now we're going to double crochet. Skip. Double crochet, yarn over, wrap around. Skip, double crochet, yarn over, wrap around, 
skip. Double crochet, yarn over, wrap around, skip, double crochet, yarn over, wrap around, double crochet. I hope it helps.